Hi, welcome to this short presentation on the reductionism and holism debate, and this is for the OCR A2 psychology spec. So reductionism versus holism. Reductionism breaks down behaviour into its constituent parts and focuses on a single factor as being the main influence on behaviour, for example genes. On the other hand, holism takes a wider view on behaviour and sees it as too complex to be broken down into its separate parts. This is more of a gestaltist view, which views behaviour as more than the mere sum of all of its individual components. Um, here is a quick diagram, if you want to pause the video and have a look at it, you can, but I'm going to be moving on to links to course studies. Uh, for example, Lee et al. 1997. Lee et al.'s research suggests that our moral development is not simply a series of predetermined cognitive stages that we will pass through, as suggested by Kohlberg. Therefore, this gives a more holistic view of moral development than Kohlberg did, as Lee et al. acknowledged the influence that society has on our behaviour and our cognitions. Freud, 1909. Freud's case study of Little Hands can be seen in a, in a reductionist manner, as he explained Little Hands' phobias and fantasies in relation to his theory of psychosexual development, i.e. he reduced the explanation for them down to this and this alone. However, the way in which the research was conducted, namely as an in-depth case study collecting data for Little Hands over a period of around two years in an unstructured manner, was relatively holistic as it meant that Little Hands was not restricted in the different aspects of his experience that he could reveal. Baron Cohen et al. 1997 In comparison to the study by Freud, the investigation conducted by Baron Cohen et al. can be seen as relatively reductionist. The approach they take involves focusing on understanding a disorder by isolating one variable, theory of mind, and testing for this in an experimental way. Note that there can be benefits when a research when research is reductionist, such as the possibility of establishing cause and effect. Thank you for watching this short presentation. I hope you um, enjoyed it and made notes as you went along. Uh, good luck in your exam if you have that on Wednesday. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll be making some more videos, so make sure you check those out. Thank you.